welcome back in the previous video we we're able to log in a user as you see it here so in this video we are going to focus on the income and expenses so after we finish creating the controllers for income and expenses then we will implement the authorization to protect some endpoint from some users so let's go ahead and implement the um, income and expenses so before you can create an income first of all you need to what create a model for that so let's create one file and call this one income uppercase i because it's kind of a class we're going to create an instance form right so here we can even go back to users model right and copy all these tabs here right and this to make our life easier so let's copy um from here all these ones and then come to user model and paste it here because the same pattern we don't need the big crypt and all what i need is i'll change this one to income schema all right income schema so here is not first name but what title and so here title is is required and then is required field and also need description description so here description is required and then after description we need the type that you are creating the type where you are creating an expense or income so here the type you want to give it a default so here it's not required okay and it's a string but i want to provide a default value for this and i'll give it income you're going to see the importance of this one when you get to the front end and the last thing is we need the amount the user is worth entering and hit this time around so here i call this one amount is required and here it's not a string but what a number and we don't need is an admin all right so the last thing we need to implement is who created this income right so because if you look at the final one if you log in as this let me log in as a right email and username sorry it's one two three four five when i log in as this and i go to my profile you can see that when i go to income i see all the income that i created so you need to attach the user who is creating this income so i'm going to use a different way to do that so here let's add a property called user right and this time around the type here is not equal to a string this is what is called data modeling like database association sorry association i'm going to associate a user to this income so it means that when the user can create as many as income so one to many but this but more user cannot create the same income right so here we are going to reference this one using the id of the user right because you can do what is called um using the object id right but because the ideal way is to do by, by reference right you have by reference and by object so here we are going to reference the user by the id that's called referencing so here i'm going to make use of mongoose on that we have a schema and this time around the types here make it types now it's called the object id make sure they are all uppercase 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 except the mongoose so here it means that the type represent mongoose id so here all what this line of code means that is what must be must be mongo mongodb id that is it that's all what is doing this line of code means so next is that we need to do the reference and a keyword very really important called ref ref means that which model are you referencing this one we are referencing to the user model right so here provide the same name as you use for the model as here the final one called the user here all right and then make sure that this is a required field so if you're not logging you cannot create so let's say that user 
ID is required. Okay, so now we are done with that, the model. So let's go ahead and create a controller for that. So it's going to be the same. So let's go to control S and here income. So because we have one instance of users here, I think we can copy that, right? Or let's start from scratch. Okay, so income here. So let's create one file and call this one income controller.js. So uh, as always, bring in the income. Sorry, so we haven't finished with the income model. We need to compile it. I forgot. So let's come here and then let's compile it. So income const income is equal to mongoose dot model dot model and then you pass in the name might be uppercase i and then the income schema all right and then let's export that so that's accessible inside module.export equal to income so inside the income schema you have what is called the income income model and here also we need the express async handler so let's go to the users and let's make our life easier move faster let's copy the express async handler to handle the errors so the income controller bring it here and comment and say create all right so let's name this one cons let's bring our express async handler at this point i believe you're familiar with the syntax so express async handler all right and then let's call sorry 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 the name of my function is called create income so create ink short of income controller is equal to express async handler right express async handler as a function and then we pass in our own function as that right and then a row function like that so here let's go ahead and create right and we're going to be the same as the when we're registering the user so try and catch for now any user can create whether it's login or not so first of all let's destructure what we are getting back from the from the body so cons this control this model requires the body here sorry the body this requires what the title of the income requires what the amount of the income and then description of the income so here try and catch here instead of try cons let's call this one income and then let's make use of await right await what the the income model and then income dot create for mongoose and then you pass in this title description and amount as that so if year six with the property and value are the same let's remove one and maintain as that to make our code clean a little bit okay so now you pass this one to mongoose to create so the what you're getting back is the actual created what created income all right and if something goes wrong let's return the error and say res.json and let's return the error so let's export this so module dot dot export because i'm going to export multiple function so create uh ink income so create income controller okay so the last thing is let's go ahead and create a route for that so here we can copy the user route right the same thing if you follow me until this point i believe you know how we did it in the previous video so let's move faster so income so going to be income route why my keyboard sometimes the capitalization route.js and then let's paste that so let's change it so let's change this one to 
income route right and then let's remove all these ones we don't need this one we don't need this all right so here let's export this and what we need is what first of all we're going to create an income so income route dot post and then here let's just provide something api income right and then let's bring in the controller the controller is called create income do you have the auto import yeah here we have it the auto import is working fine for me all right so here let's pass this into that income sorry create income cool so let's go ahead inside our app and then pass as a middleware first able to create so here the final one we have the users users one so let me call this one users route all right and then next one income route and so here comes app.use and then we pass in so let's require the users sorry income route auto import also working i've required it as here like that so let's scroll down and then pass this one to api slash income and then this income route so now our endpoint becomes like this local host slash api slash income so let's go to postman and then here let's create one more collection here and let's call this one income and then the first one let's add request is called create and for creating is called what put and then the endpoint is going to be http slash income and that is it so if you try to send let's see what's going to happen you see that validation failed we need to send income uh, id is required amount is required so let's pass in those as a body right so select none raw and under text select json and then here let's add the things we need to create so first of all sorry so first of all we need title of the income so title let's call this one my salary and then provide amount is a number two hundred dollars and then description let's provide my income whatever and you're gonna get one more error because on the user model we say that the user id is required so let's send and now everything goes away except what the user id is required so let's go ahead and then add the user who is creating it and some id so let's see additional error there we go let's see it says that um this is not validation error meaning that that id is not a valid mongodb id you see so let's go ahead and grab let's fetch this users and grab some of the users id here all right grab it let's go to create so let me save it so that i can have this icon and then inside the body here let's provide the id the id i copied and let's send well it says that is required oh i forgot when you're pass when you're creating it like this one we need to send the user to from the body so here what we can do is let's also destructure or pass the user here okay and then let's send we'll get the user from the body called a user like for now this is going to for now let's maintain this receive the user so again let's send some any id and let's see what mongodb will tell us so send and it says that now we have a different error it says that 
cast to object field for this ID. So what it means is that it says that this ID is not a valid MongoDB ID. When you say cast error, that's what it means. So let's provide right MongoDB ID I copy and paste. And let's send some around. We have created our hot income and save it. And we know this user who what who I mean created this income. So I can create one more. Come here. Let's create one more income. And let's send again. Okay. It's okay. Let me see. Now we have two. So we're going to create one controller to fetch all income. For now, let's do the hard coding about getting the ID. So when you get authorization, we are going to get the ID from the controller or middleware and then you assign to this user. For the meantime, let's do it this way. So now that we're able to create a controller in the next video, we are going to fetch all controllers. So we're going to fetch all income by creating um, income controller for fetching.